Yo, what is good guys? We are back with another tutorial. Today we're going to be going over this trippy music video effect. It's kind of like a Night esque effect. I've been seeing a lot of these effects being used in music videos nowadays. They heavily rely on rotoscoping, so if you guys do not know how to rotoscope in After Effects, I'll link a tutorial down below on how to rotoscope in After Effects, as well as in the description below are my editing packs. If you guys want to go support me as a creator and get some dope editing assets for yourself and for your music videos, I highly suggest them. They are super high quality. The project file for this will be linked in the description below, so if you guys want to download that as well and kind of fuck around and see uh, how I did this and just have the project file on your computer so you can do it yourself and then apply it to your projects um, that will be linked in the description below so anyways guys let's hop right into this tutorial so we're gonna be using the Sofago off the map music video here as an example the music video and the director will be linked in the description below so to start off we're gonna double click on the layer here it's gonna open it up as a layer so we're not in the composition anymore make sure you're in the layer and then we want to go up and click on a rotoscope tool and then you want to cut them out all right, now once you guys have him cut out, you want to go back into the composition and you'll see he's cut out here, but you kind of see there's like a weird white outline around him. Now to get rid of that, you want to turn up the feather, right? And then you want to turn down shift edge just a little bit so it gets rid of that white area there. So that's all right there. That looks good. But then what you want to do next is you want to duplicate this layer here three times. So control D, control D. So now you have three of these. So for the bottom one, you want to go and you want to delete the roto brush. So you have the normal background. And then for the middle one as well, that one is rotoscoped. So what you want to apply on the middle one is you want to go into effects and presets and you want to apply optics compensation. And then you want to apply colorama and then you want to apply HLS. So let's start off with optics compensation. What you want to do in optics compensation is you want to turn on reverse lens distortion. And then you want to turn the FOV up. So what this does here is it stretches them out and if you kind of don't like how it's positioned you can go onto this view center and kind of mess around where you want it to be. So I'm going to put that there and then turn this up more maybe over here to kind of get it more uh, just kind of play around with it kind of click away see how you like it and make that bigger just like that cool and then what you want to do next is you want to go into colorama if you go into uh, output cycle and then you go into cycle repetitions you could turn that up to get some crazy colors so i like that there i think that looks really cool and then once you go into color balance hls uh, what you want to do is you want to go to the beginning of your clip you want a keyframe hue and then you want to go to the end of your clip i'm going to make that right there you can't see it but uh, i'll bring it up in a sec so if you just hit u on your keyboard here it shows all the keyframes you have we'll see we have color balance hue here so and then we want to bring it to about uh, one and a half ish rotations just like that so you'll see what this does here when I play it through what the HLS color balance does is it kind of just shifts through all the colors and makes it like changing so I'll play this quickly here just like that kind of cool so if you kind of if you don't like the direction that's going in what you can do is you can go back up to optics compensation and then what you can do is you can actually keyframe the view center so let's say I want it here at the beginning but then once we reach here, I don't want it all the way to the left side, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to click back on the view center and we're going to put it, let's say here. Oh, not there. Hold on. I want to get it more towards the middle, but yeah, just like that. So I think that's kind of cool. And if we hit U on our keyboard again, it'll bring up all of our uh, keyframes. So let's not go into the layer. So which, which will help here is if you highlight all the keyframes, right click on them, go to keyframe assistant, and then do easy ease in. Once you guys do that, it'll just kind of make it flow better. And then you want to go into effects and presets, and then you want to search turbulent displace. Uh, when you put turbulent displace on, what you want to do is you kind of want to mess around with the amount. You guys can choose whatever amount you guys want. Uh, what this does, it just kind of warps it. Oh, I kind of like that there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to keyframe the evolution at the beginning and then go to the end. And I'm going to uh, turn the evolution about two. So it's going to go around twice. Just like that. So you guys can see we kind of have the main effect here already. I think that's kind of fast. So we're going to go back and turn our evolution down maybe just to one. I think that looks really cool there. And then other effects that you can add on this as well, if you guys have Sapphire, is you guys can go and search uh, Flicker, S underscore Flicker. So when we put that on, what that is going to do is it's going to flicker it, kind of like an old TV. So you guys can kind of see the flickering there. And then if you guys want to go and you guys want to add Uni Heat Wave as well, if you guys don't have Universe or Sapphire, I highly suggest you guys get them. They're awesome plugins just to kind of give your videos a little bit more spice. I've been using them for years and I, uh, I highly recommend them. Now, what I like to do in Heat Wave is if you go down to uh, Heat Blur settings, 
and you turn the blur quality to accurate slow kind of gives it more of a, a blurry like slower look i like the way it looks and if you guys want you can turn the heat intensity up just like that yeah guys that was a pretty quick tutorial but uh, if you guys want to see more content like this make sure you guys leave a like and comment down below what other tutorials you guys want to see i plan to make a lot more of these so make sure you guys stay tuned and subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see more like i said earlier the project file for this will be linked in the description below if you guys want to download it and mess around with it as well as my editing packs if you guys want to support me as a creator go check out my editing packs they're super high quality and you guys will not regret getting them they will spice up your videos and make them 100 times better but uh, yeah guys i think that's it for this tutorial i'll catch you guys in the next one